So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. So let's get started on our hot dog chili. And, you know, this is just my version and, and how we like our chili, hot dog chili to taste. And a lot of times, you know, even myself will find a recipe and I'll make it. And then I kind of tweak it a little bit to make it my own, the, the taste that I like. If I like something a little spicier or if I like something a little sweeter or something like that. And that's also how you can do this hot dog chili. But we're going to, I'm going to tell you the ingredients. We're going to use these ingredients. You can taste it. And when you taste it and you say, well, I need a little bit more chili powder or maybe a little less chili powder or maybe a little more garlic, just whatever to your taste. Maybe you like it really spicy on your hot dog chili so you can put a little bit of cayenne in it or something like that. Because I'm always telling y'all to make it your own. But I'm going to show you my version of hot dog chili. So I'm going to explain to you the ingredients and then we'll get started on starting our hot dog chili. And how we start it is with our our ground beef. I've got two pounds of lean ground beef and uh, I got two cups of water. I've got six, eight ounces, I mean, of uh, tomato sauce and I've got six ounces of tomato paste. I've also got just a fourth of a cup of ketchup. Now ketchup, of course, ha is, has a little sweetness to it. This uh, ketchup here has no sugar in it, so it's not going to be, but if you like that little bit of sweetness, uh, if you, you can also, if you don't like tomato sauce, use, um, replace your tomato sauce with ketchup. You know, you can do stuff like that because it's all going to come out good and it's going to taste the way you like it. And then we got our spices here. I've got two tablespoons of, uh, chili powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder. I got a tablespoon a good heaping tablespoon of cumin because y'all know how much I love cumin. I've got a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of oregano, and I've got a big old tablespoon of uh, brown sugar. If you don't want to put sugar in it, you don't have to. If you've got a, a, a brown sugar substitute, you can use that. So um, I don't have any cayenne in here, no pepper, but that's up to you once you taste it. So what we're going to do is start with our wet ingredients and that's how we're going to start our hamburger meat. So we got our two pounds of hamburger meat in the pot and I'm going to put two cups of water. I'm going to put eight, uh, eight ounces, yes I keep getting that backwards, eight ounces of tomato sauce. six ounces of tomato paste. Now we want our hamburger meat to be really cooked up and chopped up fine. So as, as it starts cooking, I'll be taking my good old handy dandy meat chopper and using it, or you can use a potato masher. I'm going to put my ketchup in here. Now, if you want to, you can put your little shot of uh, Worcestershire sauce in here. Sometimes I do that. I decided to go ahead and put a little Worcestershire sauce in there. 
I don't have much in my bottle. There might have been a teaspoon in there. It just gives it a little extra flavor. And I'm going to take my chopper. Now this is going to be loose and it's going to be soupy and that's the way you want it. And that's the way you want your hamburger mate to cook up. Now, I know it's not real pretty right now. And you're thinking, that just doesn't look good. This is the way you do it. So I'm, as it cooks, I'll keep using my meat chopper here. If y'all don't have one of these, I'm telling you, I've had people gift me several of them. And uh, I think the first one I ever got, I think either my daughter-in-law's or my daughter got it for me. And I use them all the time. So, you can see how soupy it is. Like I said, that's the way you want it. And we're going to cook this to my meat cooks. And then after the meat cooks, we'll put the rest of the ingredients in here. It's a really simple recipe. And oh, so good in the summertime on them chili dogs, on them grilled hot dogs, with chili and cheese and coleslaw. And like I said, it doesn't look good right now. But we got to let that cook and it's going to brown up and it's going to be beautiful. Trust me. I am a little bit worse for wear here. Getting off work and coming in and doing this. <laughs> You're not too pretty by that time of day. Um, I want to tell y'all though, you can take this recipe and you can double it. And um, you can either freeze what's left over or you can can it. And I'll leave the instructions below on how you can can your uh, hot dog chili. And you just can it like you would any other chili. But I'll leave the the uh, the time and pressure down there so y'all know. But like I said, if there's any left, it freezes really good. And the next time you got, you know, you're having hot dogs or something, you can just thaw it out, warm it up, and it's ready to go. So y'all stay with me. And uh, once this gets browned up and we get the rest of our seasoning and our onions in there, and then we're going to let it simmer for about an hour. And it's going to be so good. Well, this is after about uh, 13 minutes. You can see how much it's changed already. The, the ground beef is cooking. It's turning brown. The reason that you cook it like this, or one of the reasons, is because the chili meat for your hot dogs, it needs to be tender. It needs to be uh, and very fine you know pieces and that's how you get your your chili sauce your your hot dog chili and you see it's already thickening up too so I'm gonna let it cook just a little while longer before we put our onions and our spices in okay our chili or our meat's been cooking about 20 minutes and now, I know y'all thinking, man, that looks so much more appetizing than it didn't start out with. And you see how it's thickened up, too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onions. If you don't want to add um, whole onions, you can add a couple tablespoons or a tablespoon, however you like it, of onion powder. But this is going to cook for another, I'm going to simmer it. I'm going to put it on very, very low heat. If you have to, you can put a little bit more liquid in it. You can put you a, about a half a cup of beef broth in it. And I may end up doing that. Because it's going to have to simmer for about an hour. So we got our onions in there. And like I said, you can put onion powder in there if you want to. And I'll put that down in the description box with my recipe. And now we're going to put all of our spices in there. It smells so good. 
So you can see how it's all coming together and starting to look like hot dog chili or chili sauce, whatever you call it. So I'm going to put the lid on this, and like I said, I've got it on the lowest simmer, and I'm going to let it simmer for about an hour. And I'm going to keep an eye on it if I need to. I'll add about a half a cup of either just water or a little bit of beef broth. And you want to taste it after it's simmered a little bit. See if the spices is where you want it. But I'm going to let it simmer just a little while before I taste it. The chili sauce has been simmering for an hour. You see how deep and rich color it is. And you can see the onions in there. If you don't, like I said, if you don't like the onions like that, just put you some onion powder in there to taste. So it's done. You can see how fine the hamburger meat is cooked up. And that's what makes a good chili sauce or hot dog chili. So we're going to make us some chili dogs. Now, me and Mr. Brown don't have hot dog buns, but we do have white light bread, and that's how we like our chili dogs. So let's make some up and taste them. Oh, and I did put about a half a cup of uh, beef broth in here as it was simmering to keep it from getting too thick. And I'll make sure I put that in with the recipe down in the description box. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so what do you think about that homemade hot dog chili? You always ask me that when I leave my mouth full. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I love it. You know how big a fan I am of chili dogs. Chili dogs. And yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's very good just like it is. Like the onions you put in it, or you could put onions on top of it. I like them like that. I could even eat a little bit of relish on it. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Sauerkraut. Oh, anything like that. Some of that coleslaw that we made when we made them saw burgers. Yeah. Boy, that'd be good on there, wouldn't it? I've also got some of that uh, that vinegar coleslaw that I canned about three years ago, four year, three years ago. Remember we tasted that? It's a tart, but it's a good one. Um, we like our chili dogs on light bread. You need it on a bun or however you want to eat it, but it's good stuff, and I hope y'all try it. I think Mr. Brown's enjoying it. I like that light bread or that light. Because it's light. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. And um, like I said before, you can, you can can this up and process it just like you would regular chili that you were canning in pine or quart jars, whatever. You can double this recipe, which would, you'd have like four pounds of ground beef and just double everything in there and go by my instructions. Or you can freeze it. It freezes really well. So you always have some. This is a good recipe you could use at the camp. You know, cooking over the campfire or on your little camp stove or whatever. So it's getting that time of year. Time for hot dogs and hamburgers and people out enjoying the sunshine and the water. And uh, getting some of that exercise and vitamin D from the sunshine. And school about. And, and school's out, but we'll still be there, that's for sure. So I hope y'all try this recipe if you want a good recipe for hot dog chili. And uh, everything will be down in the description box, the recipe, the information, everything else. So y'all have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to be going to some flea market, market, markets. <laughs> I'm going to be going to some flea markets up in Missouri. Or am I going, yeah.
No, Mountain View. No, I don't know. Mountain View's in Arkansas, ain't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, I don't even know where I'm going. Mountain View, Arkansas. It's uh, going to be a big one, and I'll take some video and pictures and show y'all. Mr. Brown's not going. Um, he's going to be working on his boat and enjoying his day without me, probably, <laughs> and bossing him around. So anyways, y'all have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see y'all in a couple of days. God bless.